Jesus Christ, this guy's demanding. Bring that to the dungeon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the idea was inspired by the fact that there wasn't really a show for small-time builders or non-traditional chopper builders. When we started five years ago. There was a few customs, but it wasn't anywhere near what it is today. We bring writers from all over the country, and now even this year, the world. With David, the designer at El Solitario, he reinvents himself each bike and doesn't build things traditionally. The Bush brothers are building the bike on the way to the show. They're both from Reno. They stole the A-Track player out of Danny's truck. A bunch of cool details, you know, with the cigarette lighter and lots of velvet. This has been awesome. But there, there's a lot of funky bikes out there. These two bikes were built by Kano out of New York. He's one of the guys responsible for the Brooklyn Invitational. This bike was one of my favorites. It's a panhead. The guy hand cast pretty much every single part on this bike. It was a really impressive bike and so, so different than every other bike in the show. Ginger from New Church. About a week before the show, she lent her bike to a friend to go race. It clearly wasn't the best idea because he crashed it, completely smashed the tank. So an ornamental conifer painted the tank. Never lend your Yamaha to Brandon. This bike is built by Chopper Dave, the turbocharged Sportster motor. And he said he'd like to race it, but it might be a bit of a handful. <laughs> this bike, Drake McElroy, it looks like it sat outside for quite a while. It's really rusty and Drake built it two days before the show. It's funny how I know everything about every single bike in the show. The bike I built, 2012 Triumph Scrambler, I built it for Chrome. I just built the bike exactly how I would, I would want it. I really dig this bike. It's probably the best bike I've built today. The cool thing about the show is that there are so many different kinds of bikes. Each year I've sort of set a new goal to accomplish and double the experience of the show. People come for the art and for the camaraderie. I think it's cool that it's a community of people that self-govern. There's respect to each bike, there's respect to each builder. I personally believe that rules are meant to be broken and I hate Rules, I can't deal with rules very well. The rules, rules, I can't deal with rules very well. When the cops are chasing you, it's not really a bad thing. It's a good thing, you can run from the cops. Everybody just waste the day away. The wards are meant to be fun. It's usually the people that don't know that they were even in contention that get them. So I give out the One Show Award. It's an award that I hand select. Skip's been a major influence to a lot of people. Yes. Wow. Felt right giving it to him. He was pretty caught off guard by it. This is Skip Axlin's one of seven TZ750s. It's a factory Yamaha bike that was uh, raced in three races. I don't, I don't know the, the actual value of it. It's one of seven. It's probably a half a million dollars and the most amazing bike in the show. It was just a special year, like it was just number five. Like, I don't think anybody will ever forget it. You know, the idea is to just keep going forward and keep it always getting better. Being on the forefront of that is definitely my goal. We got our hot rods, we got our hand saws, we got our dipshits. We got our bait shops, we got our dirty tops, we got our